I've only had sisters, and I don't know, but whatever. Um, anyway, so she read me, and she was like, yeah, because of this life path, or your soul number or something, like, she actually was cool that I found things online, and, like, was, like, searching things, and, like, when I was explaining that, like, I love animals, one of my numbers, I think, that she had, like, discovered was, like, oh, that makes sense why you love animal animals, like, work with animals, because, like, the kind of, like, I'm a life path three, I think, or spirit, something, th like, I'm definitely a three with something. She was, like, oh, that works with, like, humanitarian issues, like, activism, animals, and I said, you know, I'm building this pet sitting business and dog walking, like, whatever, and, um, she was like, oh, that's perfect. And, um, like, crap, I'm just babbling, it's just bothering me. And, like, like oh, okay, cool. And, um, and she said, oh, and I was ta discussing this natural healing ability. She was like, animal reiki, of course, that makes sense. That absolutely makes sense. I said, really? Oh, that's awesome. I said, yeah, and she was like, and then she does cards too. She, she was like, let's see how the dog business is, let's see how the pet business is going to work. Because I also, you know, want to know, where is my soulmate? When is he going to manifest himself? What's going to happen? But I can't really force anything. I have to wait until we're both emotionally available and ready to experience this true love which I know in my gut and as someone who like really loves England he's gonna be British it's gonna happen it's a thing he's gonna have an accent it's gonna be sexy among other things but anyway so apparently like the cards that she was getting was like this is gonna be a very profitable business I know my Reiki is gonna be a great thing and it's gonna span off something else it's just like I gotta start right now like at this moment, and then that day, this woman called me, who I've been sort of phone tagging with, but like my business is slowly building, 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 eventually to the point where I think it's just gonna be a lot more people, and I'm just gonna have Starbucks as my insurance because she said that's exactly what she said. She said, you know, it's like sort of a stable, like it's good for now, like it's good for stuff, and I was like. Yeah, you know, paying, like, she said paying bills, stuff like that, which is true, which is why, like, I knew from a young age that traditional college was not the way for me. Exactly. Like, I knew it was something, like, different. I didn't know what exactly. But anyway. Oh, and this is a healing crystals, um, bracelet that Gary got me for my birthday and a Fitbit, which I don't know if I showed. But anyway. So she was really cool, and I've sent her an email, and I sent her a babbling email from last night. Oops. Um, but anyway, so Sunday happens, and Sunday, my best friend Rick threw me a surprise 30th birthday party. It was one of the coolest things. It was British themed, and he even gave me a crown. Let's see if I can find it. Nope, can't find it, but it was beautiful. It was a, an actually, it was an actual, it was actually a tiara. So that was pretty and adorable. But there was even like a coronation. God and Steve the Queen was playing. It was, he went above and beyond. It was at my dad's house, so it was great. And the it was such a great surprise. And like, I figured that I'm the least like surprisey person to surprise but apparently I'm not I don't know but anyway so that was great it was fun and then Monday I see a Dan and Phil and the way that I got to see them was actually kind of funny when the tickets went on sale I thought okay you know let me just wait let me see like, do I really want to see them you know whatever I was gonna do the VIP meet and greet before the um, thing even started, and I was like, um, no, you know what? Let me just wait. Let me just wait for a ticket. Let me just wait. Whatever. Whatever. So I wait a few days, 
the tickets sell out. They just, they just sell out. And, um, I'm like, oh, I'm really bummed. But I'm like, okay, whatever, maybe I'm not meant to see them. And lo and behold, a couple of days after that, or weeks, I don't remember, another ticket was on sale. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe I will get that one, maybe not. Refresh. Dumb idea. So then I can just jump on the next ticket that I see. Just jump on it. I went up being a pretty good seat. It was from the balcony. It was like the second level. Like it wasn't like all the way up the balcony. It was like the second level. It was perfect. And a perfect angle to make eye contact with Dan a few times. Dan. Yeah. By the way, they're both very attractive in real life. In case anyone is watching this that likes them too. I mean, I only saw them to the stage and then walking to their um, SUV later, but, but that's a different, that's later. And, um, anyway, so like, I get tickets and I'm like, yeah, cool, whatever. I'm like, okay, you know what? I've been manifesting things. I can manifest this. I can meet them. I can meet them. I can meet them. I'm just getting a little crazy. It's like, you know what? I've got this great feeling. I can meet them. Lo and behold, you know, whatever. Meet and greet. Kind of. Whatever. Oh, God. Oh, crap. Sorry. Hmm. Sorry, guys. Anyway. So, I got to see them. And, um. After being, like, having, like, a lot of fun in it. Waving like a maniac. Like, okay, let me try and see. How far it would be, I'd be like, hi, hey, hey, oh, hi, hi, good to see, like, you know, whatever. I think that's how it must have looked, I don't know. I thought I looked cute, hopefully they thought I looked cute too. I mean, I made eye contact with Dan one month. That's pretty cool. All I wanted was an acknowledgement of my existence that he waved back and made eye contact with me was once a very cool thing. Anyway, um, so the show ends and it was really funny. It was really fun. I went by myself, um, and I was like, oh, this is actually like great. This is so much fun, you know, whatever. Um, so after that we get escorted outside to where, right by where the, uh, stage door is should have stayed but whatever i was i read something that was like okay they don't like to come out and like say hi to their fans whatever they like just don't do that like okay whatever um it's like a little disclaimer somewhere so i was like okay let me go and try and find merch and then i'm getting this very strong feel like i'm waiting online waiting online for like a good 30 seconds or whatever very strong feeling go back outside Go back outside. Go back outside. Go back outside now. Go back outside. There are people waiting to see them. Okay, you know, whatever. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Waiting some more. Trying to chat with people. Apparently didn't want to chat with me. I felt like an old lady again. Um, but honestly, I still had an amazing time and I'm going to do this. When they do it again, because I have a very strong feeling they will. And this time I'm going to meet them. Uh, it is. I'm setting it in stone right now. On May 4th. Oh, May the 4th be with you. <laughs> May the 4th be with you. At 1-ish, I'm going... I, Kira Mahoney, am going to see Dan and Phil live again and meet them. And shake their hands and hug them. Yes. Anyway, so waiting, trying to talk to people, they come outside, and I, um, like, hi, again, I lean over the railing, and I'm kind of like, hey, no, I can't remember if actually Dan and Phil did or did not interact with me, but I was so like, wow, Dan's really tall, like, I have always had a thing for height, so... Seeing that was like, you know, God forbid they ever see this. I mean, hopefully they don't, but you know, whatever. Babbling. 
Um, yeah, so, got to wave, so it was great, and then I'm, like, kind of, like, giggling like an idiot, whatever, and then I just start waving at their van, and this entire time, my phone is in my purse. I just said, you know what, I'm not gonna take a picture, if I get to, like, really interact with them, I, I want to interact with them and not just, like, have, like, a phone in the way, you know? So gonna wave and I'm kind of like bye like that to their um to their van no it was like a blacked out blacked out SUV and they just sped away and I was like bye so I go back and I decide to buy merch and it's like done now done so and I wind up buying this Phil, Dan, huh. oh my god, I look so tired, <laughs> and then I also wound up getting this, I actually went outside to see Daniel on tour, because I did, and I, um, uh, was kind of emotional today, because I was, well, or yesterday, because I was, like, really sleepy, and like, oh my god, I know, I didn't get a chance to see Dan and Phil, which is what I really, really wanted, I didn't get a chance to meet them, which is what I wanted, which is what I originally wanted to be for my birthday. But I think I just got way too afraid. And, you know, didn't really let my angels fully help me. Like, they tried. Oh, my head just started pulsing when I said that. They wanted to help me. They were going to have it happen. It's like, oh my god, my hair it smells like cigarette smoke. And my armpits, oh my god, what if it smells? So I was putting fear in. And this story, whatever, just just tells me that I need to have faith. I need to have faith that positive things will happen. I need to have more faith. And the crying was cathartic. Because I don't really feel like crying now. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be financially independent. And I am going to, you know, I mean, not that I'm financially dependent now, but, you know, I'm going to be able to live comfortably. I mean, I do kind of like living at home still. Um, I'm going to be able to live comfortably and I'm going to be able to be with my soulmate. That's all I wanted. And I'm going to be able to meet them again and experience New York Comic Con in a wonderful way because I'm going to be going every single year. It's going to be my sort of vacation, although technically I have a staycation now. So anyway, I need to get going to sleep. But if you stayed this entire video, God bless your soul. If you believe in God and just bless your soul, if not, I will talk to you all 